Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about important five mark questions in the subject microbiology. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students and post basic BSc nursing students. These five mark questions have been taken from Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences, Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh. Now the university name has been changed to Dr. YSR University of Health Sciences. So these uh, five mark questions have been taken from uh, uh, various previous year question papers. So before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the questions what have been asked in the previous year question papers. So first question, passive immunization, second question, acquired immunity, third question, innate immunity, fourth question, Lewis passer, either they can ask Lewis passer separately or they can ask contributions of Lewis passer. Similarly, Robert Koch or contributions of Robert Koch. Next question, bacterial flagella. Next question, role of microbiology in nursing. Next question, national immunization schedule. Next question, opportunistic fungal infection. Next question, acid fast staining or Zehel Nielsen staining. Next is candidiasis. Next, transport medium. Next is cultivation of viruses. Next is ELISA, next to Vidal test, next laboratory diagnosis of gas gangrene, laboratory diagnosis of HIV infection, laboratory diagnosis of amoebiasis, management of biomedical waste or they can ask as biomedical waste management or biomedical waste disposal in hospital. So in these three ways you can get the same question in different ways. Next is laboratory diagnosis of hepatitis B, laboratory diagnosis of meningitis, antigenic shift and antigenic drift, mycotic mycetoma or mycetoma. Sometimes they can ask mycotic mycetoma or mycetoma. Both answers are same. Personal protective equipment. So that is PPE. Either they can ask as PPE or personal protective equipment. Next is E. coli or Escherichia coli. Next to hospital acquired infections or hospital infections. Next to polio or poliomyelitis. Either they can ask as either polio simply or poliomyelitis. Next question, role of nurse in infection control in hospital setup. Role of nurse in infection control in hospital setup. Next question, life cycle of Ascaris lumbricoids. Next question, life cycle of ankylostoma duodenal. Next question, amoebiasis or amoebic dysentery. Next question, universal precautions or standard biosafety measures. Universal precautions or standard biosafety measures. Measures. Next question, pathogenesis of malaria. Next question, pathogenesis of malaria. Next question, gram staining procedure. Next is tetanus. Next is pathogenicity of streptococcus pyogenes. Next question, post exposure prophylaxis in rabies or they can ask prophylaxis in rabies or they can ask prevention in rabies, prevention of rabies. So post exposure prophylaxis in rabies or prophylaxis in rabies or prevention of rabies. All are same. Dermatophytes or fungi affecting the skin infection. Skin or fungi infecting the skin or dermatophytes all are same. Next, Albert Stain, LJ Media, Kala Azar, Laboratory Diagnosis of Diphtheria, Cryptococcus Neoformans, Laboratory Diagnosis of Cholera, Delayed Hypersensitivity, Life Cycle of Plasmodium Vivax, that is a malaria causing a organism parasmodium vivax so you have tried the life cycle bacterial spore bacterial vaccines cephalococcus aureus then 
laboratory diagnosis of malaria mode of transmission of infection laboratory diagnosis of syphilis stool examination bacillary dysentery bacterial growth curve vaccines pathogenicity of staphylococcus aureus laboratory diagnosis of enteric fever antibiotic sensitivity test or antimicrobial susceptibility test or antibiogram ankylostoma duodenal incineration cold chain opportunistic parasitic infections in aids hepatitis b virus next is prophylaxis of poliomyelitis components and standard precautions or components of universal precautions either they can ask as standard precautions or standard biosafety precautions or universal precautions all are same laboratory diagnosis of uti that is urinary tract infection fumigation procedure for blood collection for blood culture so how you have to various methods of collecting blood or procedure how you have to collect the blood the procedure for blood collection for what for sending to blood culture next is hanging drops method differentiate between gram positive and gram negative cell wall zoonotic diseases difference between endotoxin and exotoxin classification of microbes pulse polio program laboratory diagnosis of cholera next is anthrax list respiratory viruses and their prevention factors influencing growth of bacteria prevention of rabies um, already i have told prophylaxis of rabies post exposure prophylaxis of rabies and prevention of rabies all are same dengue fever purification of drinking water fungi causing skin infection or dermatophytes so here either fungi causing skin infection already i have told in dermatophytes question so both are same next is intestinal protozoa polio vaccines common disinfectants used in hospital practice list diseases transmitted through mosquito and how you can prevent it and their prevention list diseases transmitted through mosquito and their prevention next is list yeast pathogenic to man list the yeast and how it is pathogenic to man and their morphology next ascaris lumbricoides then morphology of influenza virus next is retrovirus next is asepsis next bacteria causing hospital acquired infection viral inclusion bodies viral inclusion bodies fungi VDRL test fungi disinfection colonization methods of collection of sputum for culture parasites collection and transport of specimens immunoglobin g enriched media leptospira rota virus blood agar prophylaxis against tetanus blood culture principles and application of elisa principles and application of elisa prophylaxis of hepatitis b virus laboratory diagnosis of pulmonary tuberculosis mmr vaccine dengue fever immunoglobin m igm so these are all the various questions which have been asked in previous year question papers some questions have been repeated very frequently those questions i have not repeated so i have given almost all the questions which have been given for the past 15 years question papers i have taken and i have given all the five marks questions which have been given in the um, previous year question papers hope this video is helpful for you in preparing your examinations thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel as i have told earlier my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos